Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a closing website in less than 10 minutes using Spread Simple. In case you haven't heard about this no-code website builder before, let me briefly fill you in on the topic. Spread Simple is a powerful and intuitive no-code website builder, which means that you do not need any coding skills to create feature-rich websites. You can launch your website in a matter of minutes by simply using the content on your Google Sheets. Sounds too good to be true? Try it for free and enjoy the effortless process of website creation. Let's see how it works. Start by picking a look that brings your website to life. Go to spreadsimple.com and proceed to the templates page. Here, you can see a variety of built-in templates, making it easy to customize your brand, align with your color scheme, and showcase your logo effortlessly. Each template comes with a Google spreadsheet, which you can extend and fill out with your data. We are going to select the Apparel Store website template. You can also preview it to get an idea of the layouts and the overall look of your future website. Then, click on Start with this template. You will be directed to the Spread Simple dashboard, and if you don't have an account yet, you will be first offered to create one using your Google ID. Upon clicking on Create, you will proceed to the Website Editor. Let's adjust the front page look to suit your brand. Go to the Design tab on the left and upload your image. Next, we will change the title and the subtitle in the corresponding fields on the left. Make sure to do a thorough keyword research during your business plan stage and apply major keywords into your text and product description. It can help your website get an SEO boost to rank higher in SERPs. Choose layout and add footer with working hours, contact details or any other important information like social media links and so on. To add your social media links, go to the settings tab, click on the social media button, select the social media that you want to display on your website from the list and add the links. Go back to the footer in the Design tab and switch on the toggle Show Social Media Icons. Don't forget to click on Save. Now that you have your basic template and design in place, the next step should be to add your products and their information to the website. Go to the Content tab on the left and open the Google Sheet. It includes all the information shown on your website. Let's add a new product together to understand the whole process. Fill in the name and the price, add a product description. If it is a long text, I suggest using Markdown or HTML tags to highlight the keywords to help customers find the required product faster. Normally, for the closing website, you don't need much description. But if your brand offers niche clothes or vintage goods, a few sentences might highlight the uniqueness of the products. For items on sale, there are two columns. Fill in the size, color, fabric, collection, and quantity. The stock column is very important for setting up the stock limitations. We have made a separate tutorial explaining this feature. Check it out! One of the most important aspects of a closing website is preparing good images that help advertise and sell your product. To add item to your website, first install the Spread Symbol Image Uploader, create direct image links and add them to the website source Google Sheet. It's super easy and we provide a step-by-step -step tutorial on this topic on our YouTube channel as well. Go back to the editor page and refresh your spreadsheet, otherwise the changes won't be shown. Now you can see the newly added item and select what information will be displayed next to it. 
If needed, change the call to action buttons and select the style and size of your cards. The remaining settings are pretty much self-explanatory. Try testing them out and choosing what suits your brand best. I would now like to add details pages with more information and bigger product images. Click on the Enable Details page toggle. I prefer to select the feature called Show Details as a pop-up page. Next, simply add the information to the details pages by mapping the columns from the same source Google Sheet to the corresponding fields. For example, let's add the full description to our newly created item in the text Build. Set up item variations to present different options for the same product on the details page and allow your customers to easily switch between them. The Spread Simple No Code Builder also includes some built in search engine optimization settings. Before proceeding, click on Save and then add Meta Title. Meta description, upload your favicon, and preview image. Do not skip this step, it is essential to boost your website's visibility. The final step is checkout settings. In the card settings menu, you can select the look of your card and customize the wording. Select a new shipping method in the Shipping, Fees and Payment tab by clicking on Add Shipping Method and filling a new form. Spread Simple also lets you add promo codes, a great feature that helps boost customer loyalty. All that is left is to customize your website address and click on Publish. Check out the results! You might think that the website building process cannot get any easier. Nowadays, it can. Spread Simple has just launched a new feature called AI Creator. All you have to do now is to write a descriptive prompt and Spread Simple will do the rest. Check out our video tutorial to see how it works. By the way, if you enjoy the effortless process of website building with Spread Simple, you can now also earn financial profit. Join our affiliate program, recommend Spread Simple to your friends and get 30%. Help promote our product and earn your reward. You will find the link below. And that's how you create a closing website. No coding required, just a simple Google spreadsheet and Spread Simple. If you are looking for more in-depth tips on how to build your website with Spread Simple, visit our help page and check out other videos on our YouTube channel. If you like this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel for more tips. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new tip. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!